SpaceX Starlink suffers a loss of 212 satellites, but there's still some really good news. Let's go check it out. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we have a little bit of fireside. So good, so good. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is a technology day. We're gonna be talking about SpaceX Starlink. Something is amiss, but something's really good at the same time. We got some good news, we have some bad news. That's what this video is all about. You guys have been loving this Starlink content, so I'm just gonna give you more of it. If you don't want to hear it anymore, let me know down in the comments. <laughs> Anyways, before I get into it, I want to say that if you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks as of yet, why the hell not? They're free. Go to jchristina.com forward slash books. 100% free. jchristina.com forward slash books. Also, if you enjoy this content, even at least throw it a thumbs up. That'll be very helpful. Tell your friends, family, colleagues, everybody about the channel. We're trying to grow this thing. If you're not subscribed, consider doing so. And if you are subscribed, click this little button over here. So when I go live or a new video comes out, you will be notified of it immediately. And if you want to say thank you for all of my hard work, there's a little thank you button right down here. Give a dollar or two if you like. If not, that's fine too. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. Also, if you want more Starlink content in the future or after watching this video. Click this little button over here. I made a Starlink playlist with about 180, 190 videos just on Starlink. Go check those out. And if you're looking for a VPN or need a static IP address or do port forwarding, check out Pure VPN. The nice folks over there at Pure VPN gave me a promo code, which is JCristina. If you use that at checkout, you're going to get 15 additional percent off when ordering any of their packages. So go check out Pure VPN. You could use my link jchristina.com forward slash vpn once again jchristina.com forward slash vpn and you'll get right there and it'll automatically give you that discount anyways let's get right into this so i was reading an article over on cyber news they had a really nice kind of rendition of what is going on with these satellites and what has happened as of late and i want to read this to you and then i want to give you my interpretation on it my commentary over it but then i want to give you some really great news also so anyways this article starts out by saying there has been an uptick in burn starlink satellites over the summer according to satellite tracking data starlink a satellite constellation operated by aerospace company SpaceX lost 212 satellites in a period spanning from July 18th to September 18th. That is a short period of time, a very small window, according to data compiled by SatelliteMap.Space. Data shows the number of burned up satellites steadily increasing over the past three years, but a significant spike has been observed starting the month of July. It is unclear whether the satellites were scheduled to deorbit or whether the burnups were a result of a failure. Cyber News has reached out to SpaceX for comment and has not received one as of yet. Some experts question the accuracy of the numbers posted on the tracker website, saying they appear to be unusually high. According to SatelliteMap.Space, its data is based on public tracking information published on SpaceTrack.org space-track.org if you want to go and check that out and in other sites. Starlink satellites are designed to burn up in Earth's atmosphere at the end of their life cycle, which is approximately five years. SpaceX started launching satellites in 2019. Over 5,000 have been sent into low Earth orbit since. And of those, about 4,500 believed to be in operation. Satellites can also be vulnerable to electromagnetic storms, with strong solar flares recorded this summer as the sun entered a period of heightened activity. Destructive solar events have affected SpaceX Starlink before. In February last year, SpaceX said to have lost 40 new satellites shortly after launch because of an electromagnetic storm. I'm sure you guys remember I did a video specifically on that last year where they launched these satellites into orbit, but before they were actually able to get to their target altitude, the electromagnetic storm kind of hit them and let's say forced them back into the atmosphere, 
causing them to burn up. It was a beautiful fireworks show for many people around the world, but it did cost SpaceX a lot of money. They're estimating it was about $100 million lost due to that solar flare that hit those satellites. So losing 40 of them is not something that you wanna do. Now in totality, they have lost 212, according to what we're reading here. So while that is a big number, the thing that is alarming here is the escalation of the number that are being lost. Because that five year window when they should be deorbiting and burning up in Earth's atmosphere has not come to pass yet. It's only been, even the oldest satellites, it has only been about, let's say, three, four years that they've been up there for the oldest ones, even the beta ones, let's say. So why they're deorbiting, especially at this record speed, I don't know. We'll have to get into that more once we get more information. But on a positive note here, I was reading another article that I think is really interesting, and it shows how SpaceX is just taking Starlink to like the next level. There is so many people that are getting on board. And I wanna show you some of these stats and show you some of this information because I think it gives context to where SpaceX Starlink is going. All right, so if you're interested in SpaceX Starlink and getting involved in it, or if you're already in Starlink and you have SpaceX Starlink as your ISP, as your internet service provider, I think you can be, let's say, rest assured that they're gonna be around for a little bit. So while I was reading through this other article, what it said was that for the first time in four months, this was since May 5th, Starlink has actually did a update to the number of users that it currently has online. That let's say their subscription base. Back in May, May 5th, there was 1.5 million. That was what they stated. Well, as of like a couple of days ago, they said that they now have over 2 million subscribers. You're looking at, let's say four months, you went up another 500,000 subscribers. Just think about this. Now, according to what they were saying in this article is now available in seven continents and 60 countries. Seven continents and 60 countries. That is amazing in a short period of time. So I did some research, but this is what I do. So I'm gonna bring this up on the screen so you can see this. Now back in June of 2021, you can see there were 69,420 subscribers. And then just moving into, let's say by the end of the year or January of 2022, it already doubled to 145,000 subscribers. Now that's when I came on board. There was just over 100,000 subscribers and I was like in like right around, I think it was November of 2021, somewhere right around there. And there was like no one. My dish is actually dish number 2000 something of the generation twos. This was when we came out of beta. So I've been here since the very beginning, but look at how it has exponentially grown from January 2022 with 145,000 subscribers. Let's say January or here we're getting data to December. Let's call it January. It went up to 1 million. So from 145, thousand to over 1 million subscribers. That is in one year. But now look what happened in nine months. It went from 1 million to 2 million. It's not growing just simply on par. It's doing this thing right? Like this, not like this, like this. So I really do, I've said this in the past, I really do believe that as they get more and more SpaceX Starlink satellite version twos into space and they are now more functional and they have more ground stations, I really do think that this is going to just blow up. We're gonna see two million turn to four million. I think that's what will happen. So from September, 2023, when we just hit two million, 
I bet you September in 2024, it will hit 4 million. Once again, a doubling. That's what I believe. Now, will it happen? I don't know. It's really going to depend on Starship. If they can get Starship out there and not blow it up this time and do some testing and testing and testing and some pre-flights over and over, finally they're gonna be able to fill that fairing at the top of Starship with hundreds of the full-size SpaceX Starlink version twos. Those are the big daddies and they're going to carry four times the capacity of the current Starlink satellite. So it's going to be a major, major improvement. But when I was doing some more research, I was taking a look at September 21st. That was just last week. Look what happened. I'm going to bring this map up. Look what happened to the map in the U.S., all right? Do you see how it started out? It was dark. Now, just so you understand, the dark area is the area that is a waiting list, whereas the light area, you could purchase Starlink at any time. You can get it and immediately get coverage. But the darker areas, there is a waiting list. But look at how that has shrunk. So by them constantly launching more and more of these satellites, currently the version 2.0 minis, not as good as the full 2.0, let's call them maxis, but still they are good. I'm thinking that they are now becoming operational because there is over 100 or close to 200 of them already in low Earth orbit. And I think some of the first ones are already in operation because we see this map starting to condense and the number of people that are in the waiting list is becoming smaller and smaller and smaller. I did predict by the first quarter of next year, most likely we are not going to see any waiting list or if there is a waiting list, it's going to be in very small regions. And what's going to happen is you're going to have a whiteout or a white list or where you can just purchase it anywhere in the US and then we'll start seeing darker areas throughout the globe where they are ramping things up and getting other people on board. Once again, seven continents and 60 countries as of today. Unbelievable. So my question to you is if you have SpaceX Starlink, are you happy with it? If you don't have SpaceX Starlink, are you interested in it? Down below, I want to hear from you. Anyways, guys, I hope you found this interesting. If you have, throw it a thumbs up. That would be awesome. Tell your friends, family, colleagues, tell everybody about it. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. That's it, guys. I'm out of here for you in another vlog. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all.